Oh, hello. And fancy seeing you here because we fancy seeing ourselves here in the beautiful city of Munich. Yes, we are in Munich. We're spending a few days here holidaying throughout Europe. It's our first day here and the first order of business is to get some delicious German food. So join us on our first day adventures around Munich. And without further ado, let's go. So best friend, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. The weather is great. It's cold. It's sunny. The air's feeling very crisp. You know, I'm just in disbelief. It still hasn't quite processed that we're in Europe, but here we are. Yes, look at that. Look at the architecture. Look at the architecture. Like, it's not real, like, but we're that's, here. That's a German building. Oh, I was gonna look for a bird and be like, that's a German bird, you know? Oh, there, there. That's a German tram. Yes, German tram, she said. All right, uh, we find ourselves here at Karlsplatz, um, which is one of the, the main squares in the city, right next to one of the old city gates. It's still kind of early in the morning. It's like 8.40 something. It's also Sunday and a lot of shops close on Sundays. So we still need breakfast though, and we're just gonna try to hit up a spot that we had in mind. So let's see if it's open. Let's go. It is around 9.14 a.m. and we've come here to Schneider Boy House. Um, I think it's just outside Marienplatz, like the very city center of it. And we're here for breakfast. Apparently they're very famous for their Weisswurst or their uh, Bavarian uh, breakfast sausages. Honestly, the interior is just amazing. Like I've just, I've just been fanboying over the architecture as we walk from our hotel to here. I've just been so mesmerized by the city right now, especially because it's so quiet and the weather is perfect. But I'm even more excited for this breakfast, this traditional Bavarian breakfast. Let's eat. All right, first order of business in the day of our Lord for breakfast. You know how you know how we do it in Bavaria. Some uh, some beer in the morning. I probably will never get used to this, um, but you know we're here to experience how they do. So this is their original Schneider Weiss uh, on tap. Uh, the description is uh, the traditional original Bavarian beer, shiny amber color. Now as before, brewed according to the original beer recipe of 1872. The wheat beer ge geek's favorite. Prost. It's pretty good, actually. Um, not, not, not that bitter. It's got like an underlying caramely. What am I saying? It's got like a sweetness to it. It's not bad. But this, I can actually doubt. Like, I can see why they have it for breakfast. It's not that, like, you know, demanding on your body. Yeah. Taste it. Taste it. Do it for the. Do it for local. Food. <laughs> yeah. Come, 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 come. I already know this is gonna taste really good. Essentially, it comes with a fried egg, meatloaf, that also looks like a slice of loaf, some bread underneath, some crispy, crispy bread, and salad. We love that. But yeah, let's, let's just break this egg. Oh yeah, love that. I'm just excited for this meatloaf. Okay, let's have a go. Mm, that is very simple, meaty, eggy, crispy from the bread. The meatloaf is good. I mean, I'm a lover of spam, so I'll, I was expecting it to kind of have that meaty, spammy vibe. Yeah, it is solid. I'd be happy if you gave that to me for uh, for breakfast. Good start. Thank you. Oh yeah, that beer. Okay, let's get to the main event. This is the you know the the typical Bavarian uh, Weisswurst or their breakfast sausages. I think it's just boiled. This is made with veal, and I guess from the green, it's got some herbs in there. 
Apparently, you're not meant to eat the skin. So let's just try to, I don't know, split it open with the, my knife. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then we're just gonna remove the skin. You know, it just looks awfully familiar. <laughs> this is what you've got. This is like the, the floppy um, veal sausage. It also comes with some sweet Bavarian mustard, which we will dollop some. And down here. Oh, that looks amazing. And of course, grab a pretzel. Oh, I am so excited. Uh, what do we do first? Okay, let's just, let's just, we will try it by itself first, even though it's got in a smidgen of mustard. Mmm, it's really nice. It's really light, like, like feels like quite light meat. But it's like pretty flavorful. It's nice and bouncy. Let's try it with a mustard. Oh, that mustard is amazing. It's like the perfect balance of sweet and tangy from that mustard seed. Wow. And, of course, pretzel. Germany is world renowned for their baked goods. And in Bavaria, pretzel is king. Mmm. Mmm. It's really nice. I'm gonna try to get some of the pretzel with like the flake crystals. Yeah. It's kind of still dense um, inside, but the outside, the brownish uh, skin, also really nice. Perfect accompaniment to the rice roast. Mm. Uh, washing down with the beer. Okay. If you're Bavarian or German, look away. I'm gonna try to eat the skin. Like, okay, like if you're German, like shout, like roast me in the comments. I don't care. Oh, that's nice. I, I, get, I see why you don't eat it. It's like pretty chewy. It was pretty hard to like pull apart. But you know, I feel like it's, it's fine, you know? I, I get it's a faux pas, but <laughs> it's just funny. What a meal. What a first start to our Munich escapade. Ah, how good. How was it? How was the first meal in Munich? Like, you got the historic vibe, you got the excellent traditional Bavarian breakfast. What more could you ask for, you know? That was great. Yeah. Like, the food was great, the vibes were great. Like, the old people with their hats and their traditional... Lederhosen. The Lederhosen were great. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> There it is, Yambi, right in front of us. Oh, it's the Hofbräu house. We might go there later for dinner, we'll we see. We might, we oh, are. Oh, I mean, we are. Stay tuned. I'm excited. Yes. I didn't realize how big it was. Yeah, I was walking around. Yeah. She was asking me like, oh, where's the Hofbräu house? I was like, it's this entire block. It is an institution. Touristy as it may be, we're still gonna go there anyway. But first, we, have, we still have some, uh, we still have some walking around to do. It's only like 10.30. We'll probably eat there at like four. We still need to check into our hotel and look at the Glockenspiels at the Marienplatz. We still have a lot of things to do, so let's kill some time. All right, well, we've made it back to Marienplatz. Definitely a bit more people uh, right now. It's nearly 11 o'clock, and you know what that means. Um, every 11 o'clock, I don't know if you can... Can you see like the little copper, the faded green copper stuff? It's a glockenspiel show, and all like all like, the figures do a little dance and stuff, so we're just gonna see what it looks like. Hopefully it's lit. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, Willy Wonka! <laughs> Willy Wonka! It's my favorite chocolate tea! So, um, thoughts on the uh, personally, 
I was expecting a bit more drum and bass there. So I couldn't I really, mean, I couldn't really rave to it. It glockenspielt as much as a glockenspiel could glockenspiel. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, we finished with the glockenspiel and we've just walked inside to the new town hall. You can actually like appreciate the inner courtyard of the uh, town hall with its amazing neo-gothic interior. There's even a beer hall if you're, um, you know, wanting to whet your appetite. We are approaching our way to dinner and it's pretty quiet for the most part of the streets but the closer we get you can kind of hear a rumble of people so i'm expecting it to be to be that never mind it's the irish no. pub yes yeah, sorry it's the irish <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was um, not on purpose, one of the more uh, stressful trying to find a table. We are here finally at the legendary Hofbräu House in Munich. I know, I know it's touristy. It's the most popular restaurant in the city. What are you gonna do? We're tourists and we're here to experience Bavarian uh, beer hall culture at its most stereotypical, dare I say, or, or at its most traditional. It depends on how you look at it. It is a gloomy Sunday night, yet it is absolutely packed. We spent like a good 10, 15 minutes like, actually trying to find a decent table. We just walk in and choose a table and we are lucky enough to be uh, sitting next to the band on our right there. So yes, if we resort to the tomato mics, you know why, but you know, we're here for the vibes. The interior is absolutely beautiful. It's just, it's th this is amazing. This is what our Munich trip is all about. So we're just gonna order a couple of uh, items. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Let's eat. Best bread, bro. Yeah. <laughs> all right, folks, let's get this party started. But obviously, you can't go to the Hofbräu house without getting a bit of Hofbräu beer. We already had a beer this morning, and I'm not much of a beer drinker, so I opted in for a measly little uh, half mass. I think that's what you call it. I'll correct myself in the uh, video. And Dad over here got the full, the full Monte, the full uh, Hofbräu original. Yeah, he of course, like you know, it's the it's the way of the family. Um, anyway, there's nothing but to do but to approach. Uh, I got the dark beer. He got the original. So approach. Cheers. cheers. Ah, good stuff. Good. <laughs> All right, first dish. We're starting it really light with the uh, beef broth with liver dumplings. I'll come down here. Oh wait, no. We were meant to order the liver dumpling soup, but I think they gave us the uh, stripes of pancake. You know, we're not complaining. I don't really care. It's just soup. It's cheaper, so I guess we're saving it. So let's just taste. Let's just uh, see how it goes. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Honestly, it's just like chicken noodle soup with beef and with pancake mix. And like real simple, but really good, you know? It's, a, it's nice on a hot, cold, uh, cold winter's day like this, even though it's like really warm inside. Ooh. Nice. Okay, it's time for one of my favorite German items to eat, the Kaiser Spitzel. I hope I didn't butcher that pronunciation. But, yeah, I don't know. It has quickly become one of my favorite German things to eat, just from pure texture. And even though it's so simple, it's kind of like pasta noodles. It has this very lovely, like, chewy texture. And it has a cheese mix with it and some crispy onions on top. I am so excited. Alright, gotta get some onions as well. Oh, it looks, do you see how cheesy that is? Love to see it. Okay, first bite. That onion really adds like so much flavor to it as a special than what I'm used to. And like, that's such a nice like mild cheesiness. It's not too much. And you know that's gonna fill you up really well. And it's like a nice, lovely, chewy texture as well. Alright, while the band's done, let's get into this 
Schweinsachse, the pork hop. Look at that. You know, Schweinsachse or pork hop is the, the German uh, Bavarian specialty of a uh, whole roasted pork knuckle. It's got the skin, it's got the gravy, it's got the potato dumpling. Let's cut that open just for uh, just to see what's inside. Wow, more potato! Anyway, let's try to cut into this uh, knuckle. Yeah. Yeah. This is too... I'm wrestling with a beast. Oh wow. Oh yeah, you know, it's your standard pork. You love to see it. Oh yeah, that's a sexy pork knuckle. You know, I'm gonna try to carve out the skin as well, just so we have it separate. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna rehydrate that pork in that gravy. First bite. Mm. Mm. Like the outside where it's roasted, it's a bit tough. But once you actually get to the inside, it's pretty nice and tender. You know, it's like well seasoned actually. The gravy, that's really good. I need to bite, take a bite of that skin. Oh. That's good. That is nice and crispy and fatty, just the way I like it. And I'll get some, uh, some potato dumpling. Oh wow. I've wanted to taste these for so long. It's really good, like as a as like a side to the gravy and the uh, pork. It pretty, soaks up all that flavor well. It's like it has a bouncy yet gelatinous yet puddingy like texture, which is really nice. One more bite of pork for good luck. Probably that's better. Like once I got only like the inside pieces, very tender, very uh, meaty. Good. All right, our last main dish that we have is their roast suckling pork. My parents already got the other half, but you know, it's just, yeah, it's just got like suckling pork. It looks like it's been roasted like a strip of fat down there. Let me uh, get some of the fat, some of the stuff, and some of that. As per usual, gravy and potato dumpling. That's good as well. This is like basic roast pork with gravy. Nothing too flashy, but it's nice, well cooked. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, I can't really tell between like a suckling pig and a pig. So it's like pig to me, but it's pretty good. And finally, to end our uh, Hope Roy House escapade, uh, this is simple apple strudel. Ah, ah, ah. But of course, we cannot forget the cream. Ah. Let's just uh, get some from the edge. Some cream, some of that nice sauce. It's pretty solid. Can't complain, you know? Apples are nice and tender. You know, not too sweet, which I kind of appreciate at this time. The cream just doesn't. Uh, this uh, sauce. Very nice as well. It's got a hint of a uh, jammy thing from the red dust stains on the plate. Very nice. peaceful out in the beer garden, best friend. You know, just the low hum of the band. I'm singing in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, Bergine. Yeah, that was the uh, 
world famous Hofbräu house for you. Um, if I were to describe it, it would literally be like a, a lads on tour beer hall, you know, like lads, 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 like that type of vibe. Obviously the food is like, it's just like normal beer hall food, it's like nothing special, but honestly, I was just so distracted by the sheer occasion of being on the in the Hofbräu house. You're almost eating in a live museum because you can see, see, see people like watching the band, taking their selfies and their photos. It's a very, really interesting experience. Like, you're, you're really there to be a tourist. But don't get me wrong, there are also a lot of German people there. I don't know if they're locals or not. So yeah, that was the Hofbräu house for you. I'm sure you enjoyed that as well, yeah, be as tired as we may be, that but yeah. That was a really good experience. Yes, it's time to sleep. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're finishing up our night right here at the Marienplatz at dark. And yeah, thank you for joining us in our very successful first day in Munich. The breakfast at Schneider Bräuhaus really set us on a good path forward. And of course, the legendary Hof Bräuhaus, as touristic as it may be, it's still, it's still a vibe. Anyway, we hope you'll enjoy the Europe content that we'll be pumping out. And thank you guys again for watching another one of our food and travel videos live from the Marienplatz in Munich. And see you at the next one. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye. <laughs>